Hi all. Today we are going to demonstrate how to build a logistic regression model to predict the classification of default credit card payments done or not, based on the following features, label, dependent variables, default payment or no payment, 1 or 0. Features, independent variables, limit underscore ball, sex, education, marriage, age, pay underscore 0, pay underscore 2, pay underscore 3, pay underscore 4, pay underscore 5, pay underscore 6, bill underscore and 2, bill underscore and 3, bill underscore and 4, bill underscore and 5, bill underscore and 6, pay underscore and 1, pay underscore and 2, pay underscore and 3, pay underscore and 4, pay underscore and 5, pay underscore and 6. To complete this process we need some of the prerequisites they are, Scala SDK, default of credit card clients.csv file, create an application to build logistic regression model. Click on file new Scala project. Enter project name and click on next. Click on libraries add external jars. Navigate to spark installation folder and open jar folder then select all the jar files and click on open and then finish. Open Spark underscore logistic regression and add package to SRC folder by selecting new package and give some name and click on finish. Then add Scala object to package by selecting new Scala object and give some name and click on finish. Write a Scala program to build logistic regression model. Define main function. Use log or function to eliminate unnecessary info logs and to show only error logs. Create Spark session which provides a single point of entry to interact with underlying Spark functionality and allows programming Spark with data frame and dataset APIs. Read the CSV file into RDD by using Spark context and text file functions. Use first and filter functions to remove header line from your dataset. Now split the data into label and feature, where label is just the value you're trying to predict and feature is the data you are going to make a prediction with. So in this demo the labels are the first column of our data, and features are the second column. Here in logistic regression we will use only one column and feature for getting predictions. Create a sequence by using seq function to assign column names for our data. Convert the RDDs into data frames using to df function and assign our column name sequence. Now our data have been divided into label and feature. Use set seed for the random number generator. Use random split to split your data into training data and testing data as 70 and 30 percentages. Now create a model using logistic regression and set parameters for training. Now train the model using our training data. Print the coefficients and intercepts by using coefficients and intercepts methods. Then run the model using test data to get predictions. Print the predictions using show function. Use a binary classification evaluator which returns a precision metric, area under ROC, by comparing the test label column with the test prediction column. Use evaluate function to evaluate predictions and returns a scalar metric area under ROC, larger value would be better. Now you will see how to calculate some more metrics like number of false and true positive and negative predictions. Now use mllib function binary classification metrics to evaluate the predictions. Print out the precision recall curve which plots the points for different threshold values by using area under PR method. Print out the area under ROC value, if closer the area under ROC is to 1, you can say it as better model. Run the code to see the output in the console window. This is how you can build a model to predict the default credit card payments or not using logistic regression. That's all for this video. For any queries please reach us at vj.ready at sangam.ai.